Hello everyone, my name is Inmar and this is the forest. We just saved. I don't know how to get in there yet. <clears throat> and, uh, well, it's kind of getting dark. Let's hope we don't get eaten by a shark. It hasn't happened to me yet. I'm kind of hoping it doesn't happen to me. Let's go. So at this point we have lots of cloth. There are some places we could go. There's some things we could do. We could finish off those uh, tree houses over there. Or we can start going spelunking. And spelunking could be really useful to us. Oh. Rock. Got it. <clears throat> so it is rather dark. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. As we run face first into a... Into a cliff face. And then run into... Oh, that's not good. Oh, it's one of you guys. Maybe one of their lamps could be cool. So let's get over here. And... Let's go see if we can sleep. So we can go and uh, just pick up where we left off tomorrow. Yep, not yet. Alright, well that's fine. Go ahead and eat random mushrooms off the ground. What could go wrong? Uh, we have spoiled meat. We have some raw meat, some dried meat. So let's actually go back up here and put this, this raw meat over here. Take that dried rabbit. Take that dried meat. Because we'll just eat that. We'll drink this. And we will just get back into it. Hello, rabbit. Oh. Okay. Well, so we can collect the rabbits that way. It's nice. So let's see. If we decided we wanted to go spelunking, which I think we will. Is it spelunking or spelunking? I forget. on do we lose these no we get them back ah oh, nice we are full stealth boys does this stay about our sneakiness now armor is 200 health and our stealth is 100 percent cool we're feeling good We could use some aloe to get rid of our cold. There's a crazy person over there. It's pretty normal. And, uh, yes, this direction, probably to that one of these two flags, is the way to go. All right, let's do this. Oh, seems to be turning to day. All right.
Did we leave the... Did we go past it? We did. Now we're sort of heading in the right direction. So it's that flag over there. That is where we want to go. To begin our spelunking adventure. And it is below us. Alright, let's do this. Okay, the game is loading and we are going downstairs. Stick up upgraded stick. And the lights. Put some fabric on it. All right, so what do we find down here? All right, enough of that. Oh, actually has a different map for each system, does it? Well, it is kind of nice. Yes, I know, buddy. I'm excited, too. Do something else with this? Ooh, we could make it a burning weapon. Is that make it ex oh no. Never mind. Light it. Because we can block with this. You die. You fool. Okay, unfortunately, they destroyed some of my armor. That's just how it goes. Is that a pit? I can't tell. I'm just going to assume it is. Alright, what's over here? Cool. Sound skates. Okay, money. Not of much use to us here. You poor person. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, we have all the explosives we can carry. Nice, we can get lots and lots of cloth here. That is good. Alright, who's this? Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. What else is over here? Nice. 
So there's something over here that was difficult to see. Might have had a bunch of had a bu maybe a bunch of corpses. Okay, this is just what all it was. Oh, I can't hit two at once. This toy. Nice. Okay, so I think that's it here. Let's go ahead and combine that with another cloth so we can light it and see. Do you see? Do you see? <laughs> At least one of you is, is getting that's a Event Horizon reference. Nice. Let's just go wide springs here. So we can just make sure we can get out. Okay, cool. Let's eat this. Sounds good. Ugh, I know. Stuff's terrible. Okay, so there. What's a work hat doing out here? Chop them the bits. Cool, kill it. Got a hatchet and I'm not afraid to use it. Die. That's not good. Bring it on. Dead. What? Where did Shrimp come from? Crap. Alright, let's let's take a medication. Um then let's put on some lizard skin armor. Yes, die. have some I would really really like to have some lighting that I don't have to rely on a lighter and that would be really good okay so there's this water over here that works
Maybe we had a, a flashlight or something? Oh, hey. Okay, well, we're gonna go explore. We were around this too. I'm gonna explore around it before we go down. Looks like the only other way to go is over here. Okay. Nice, a flashlight. Okay, a change of clothes. What is this new outfit? I have no idea. Um, beige cargo pants. Do we have a pilot uniform? We're gonna go with the hoodie. Okay, so it looks like the only real place for us to go now is down. Yeah, we have this flashlight. Well, that's nice. Does it work underwater? Well, that makes our life a little bit easier. Oh, good. I always like when they're actually attached to the character model. It's less stupid that way. Okay, so we could easily fall to our deaths. We just ran around. So, let's take stock of our surroundings. What is this? Lots of skulls and then uh, like desiccated corpse over here. Okay, we have a cross. There's some sticks. That's odd. I don't know why there are sticks down here. The savages are probably bringing them down here, that's all. We have this guy. not a good sound. Okay, so we have a rebreather now. And down there. How fast is this torch running out? No, not too too bad. Refills torch. So we have two battery sets. I'm gonna put the rebreather on. Let's go. Yeah, that makes sense. We can probably put our cold weather outfit on and uh I might I like the I I like the armor more. Okay. So I think I said this previously, but underground caverns, it's usually silt on the bottom. And you can really easily just like kick that stuff up and be in trouble. Okay, here's the surface. What are those? Let's take the rebreather off. And we are cold, so we're gonna put this on. That'll get rid of the cold. Um 
I want armor, so... How many bones do we have? No. To make bone armor, we need six bones and three cloths. wear that. Alright, and um, oh, right. Yeah, we can't. Let's take the rebreather off. Let's put this on. Okay. What are those? Oh, they just jump it? What the hell? Oh, you monsters. Jeez. That's terrible. Okay, so we have players. Players? Players. Okay, cool. Sounds good. We had some demon babies or something. We have all this beer, right? So... What else can the beer be used for? We can make explosives with it. There are plenty of beers out there. Can't hold any more Molotovs. These are rancid. But we have plenty of snacks, so that's not a big deal. <clears throat> okay. Oh! It just automatically gets. Does it just automatically get put on you now when you go underwater? Does it use the rebreathe to head just have it equipped? Is there any detriment to just having it equipped forever? I'm going to guess no. Okay, weird lighting effects there. Alright, let's keep going over this way. So we can find anything. These demon babies. Maybe there's a demon baby spawner. Mutant baby spawner, or whatever those things were. Maybe that maybe those were mutants that that the other mutants ate the limbs off of. What the hell? Okay. Are those doors? What the hell is that? Oh, 
Okay, well... I don't... see any... thing else. I'm going to assume we're supposed to go over here. Alright, skulls. Okay, you guys seeing this? What the hell? Those aren't alive, but... Okay. I'm guessing this is just some... I mean, these guys seem to be, like, um, Christians are sort of Christians. There's that old gun ammo. Okay. A B blade. So Well I mean they have flares as well. We're just stealing all their books now. Can we accidentally light that on fire? No. No. Yes. It's okay, soda. Okay, so we have these tents. We seem of somewhat archaic design, maybe. They seem of archaic design, but at the same time, there are some not archaic items here. So perhaps, perhaps uh, a different organization came down here and found these guys' stuff and just took it. Anything's possible. Okay, well... Oh. We... could at least cook some of the food that we had. We had new food. Okay, well... And also if we needed rope, we could get some here. It's just because there's a free air canister here... Let's just refill our air. And then... Okay, it looks like the only place we can get from here is down. That's a natural place to come up. So... Another... another Bible. To-do list. It'd be funny if we could pull up our to-do list here.
Okay, nice big cave. Remember, in reality, you want to stay away from the walls and the floor. Here, it doesn't matter. It's that weird sound. Was this more rope? Yeah, I wanted more rope. Uh, let's go up. Bibles. Are we just going back up to where we were? Well, there's something over here. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything else over there, but we found a rope. What is up here? Let's just use the flashlight. Snacks. Ah, oh, we can turn that on. No, no. Flashlight. Okay, well, it's since the next cave over. I don't think you can get there. I don't think you can get to here if you don't have the rebreather. I think you just drown. Um, what is that? Nothing. Okay, more rope if we need more rope. And, yeah, being like cave diving can be just incredibly claustrophobic. But at the same time, I can imagine it would just be incredibly amazing. Uh, did we miss our turn? What is this? Okay. Okay. Let's go back down, and I want to see if I missed anything, or if there's like a turn off that I missed, or something like that that the map notated. Because I am trying to see if there's any turn off or anything like that. I can imagine coming down here without that rebreather on is like terrifying. I wonder if you can do it though. Can you? Okay, I think that is it. There could be something on the other side. Like midway through. Mm. I mean, I'm not against going back and looking. Alright. 
else. No, I don't think you could come from this way, because if you did, you would, um, because if you did, you would get turned back by that door. Okay, so we want to go in there and then go left. Maybe go straight if we can. Let's try going straight. So what happens if we go down? Ah. Oh, we kind of screwed the pooch on that one, didn't we? By spinning around. Okay, let's head back up. Maybe there's something in this shaft that we can... It's a, not a crawl space, but a, a new area we can get to. I think it's about time we... Here's our compass. Lighter? Oh. So if you have the flashlight, then you get the... then it'll give you the flashlight instead of the lighter. Okay, that makes sense. And so we want to go north, if possible. See if that lets us get into another cave system. That means this direction. Seems as though it may. Now we're just back here. Yeah, now we want to go sort of northeast. We can. We also want to refill our containers. Maybe we can find another air tank to use. The air tank to take. Yeah. What's this? Okay. No idea what that is. A rusty axe? Okay, so we have a rusty axe now. Oh, yeah. This block is 100%. This block is 100. Nice. Not bad. I'm glad I found that. Dude, does everything in the cave just respawn? Okay, we want to go northeast if we can. Um, what happened? Now is its light much brighter again? Yeah. Alright, so if we can, we want to go north... east. 
So this way. I don't think we can go here from there. Get there from here. Can we get there by going underwater? Maybe there is something this way. Doesn't seem to look like it, guys. Oh, wow, that's really nice. Okay, well, we tried. Let's just use a, uh, a, an upgraded stick and set it to maybe this will help us see. Maybe it's something where it's an elevation thing it's over here. Maybe not. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to be up here. Of that stalag height. Oh, you guys want to know an easy way to remember stalactites and stalagmites? So, a stalactite holds tight to the ceiling, and a stalagmite, well, if you trip and fall, it might stab you on the butt. the way we came from. And now we're leaving again. Which I'm fine with. I'm not complaining. Eat some snacks so we can get our strength up. And... Okay. So we can't close that. It doesn't seem to be anything else. Right. So. I'm gonna hug the... that side. This time around. <clears throat> so as I've said before, uh, many islands are volcanic in nature. So it would not surprise me if that sound we're hearing is actually like magma moving under the surface. It's magma. If it, it, basically, molten rock is magma if it's under the surface, and it's lava if it's above the surface. Fun, fun, right? So, I don't see anything. We did kill the enemies, but I think they respawn. Uh, right. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, well... We have this once more. Okay, well, it's been, you know, fairly useful coming down here. We have... We got that rusty axe. We got the rebreather. So that's good for us. Wouldn't be terrible if there was, like, a cave crocodile waiting for us. Look, was there just another one? I threw us in the water. Okay, so basically just everything respawns when you go into a cave. Okay. I assume that's a multiplayer. So that if um, so that if you have you know a bunch of people playing, you don't end up in a scenario where so you don't end up in a scenario where one person gets the only rebreather and then everybody else has to just drown. Makes sense to me. Now if we can, we want to try and sneak around these dudes that are up here. Are they up here? Are they alive again, or are they still dead? Don't see them. It's not like sneaking is doing us any good anyway when we're holding the one and only light source. Okay, so. Cool on that. They don't seem to have respawned yet. Fabric's back though. That's nice. That is, unless they were over here instead. Okay. Oh. Oh, he's mapping the entire cave system. Got it. Let's go in here and see what's going on. As we start to climb our way out of the cave into potentially nighttime. It is indeed nighttime outside. Alright, so let's go ahead, get our spear out. And everything looks much more filled out now. We want to head southerly, so we can get to... No, actually, we can head in a northerly direction. I think that's our southern base over there. Our northern base is up here. So let's go over here. And we'll just want to get our hands on... Let's just take this rebreather off. It'll auto-equip whenever we jump in water now, I think. I think that one is closest to us. No, it's that one. Well, we're going to 
right, so let's go into our other tree house. We have a source of effectively infinite ropes, as far as I can tell. So let's go ahead and infected, sick, find Ella to heal. Okay, that's not a problem. There, we are no longer infected. <clears throat> Our sanity is 84%. Nice. Okay, well, let's go with that furniture. Let's go with this, since we now have an infinite supply of rope. And let's see, what kind of food is there over here? Probably completely dried out rabbit. Really? Okay, so if we take it off first, then it then it doesn't have a problem with us. But if we don't, then it does. Okay. So, since we have more ropes, we actually want to go... And if we can, finish off those places that needed ropes. So let's try to go do that. It is somewhat treacherous to be, mov to be moving around at night, but Dawn is coming. It's not that bad. Let's go ahead and drink water from our water skin. It's empty. There's a source of fresh water right over here, so it's not that big a problem. Ah, oh, there we go. Very nice. We just come here to get a full drink out of it. Oh, I know. This stuff is so good. Alright, let's go ahead and go over to our other territory. Our other domain, I suppose. And see what we can do. We need to build some over here. I think that one's just a like a torch. So I'm not gonna be I'm not too worried about that. Also the caves seem to give a lot of supplies. Strangely enough. Okay, so Ah yeah, G means it's uh, the the hole there. Did we put something up here? Oh yes, we did. Has not been triggered yet. Oh yeah, we don't wanna we don't wanna encounter those dudes as they're running about. I can Okay, they see us. We are in their territory right now. Though, there's that village over here. Maybe... We can get some extra fabric over here. Some extra cloth. Get some easy kills. I don't see anyone here. I 
Alright, so I'm going to assume there's no one here. Get back your rabbit. Kill the rabbit. I didn't see any fabric there anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it. We have these old archaic tents. They're kind of weird. Okay. Let's go get in, a, in like a, a plant or something so we can look at our to-do list relatively safety. Relatively safely. What is on this? Explore hanging cave. Keep exploring hanging clay cave. Explore layers cave, ledge cave, waterfall cave. Find way into sinkhole. Find the missing passengers. Set up a camp. Well, we sort of set up a camp. Oh, that's just the trees. Just the trees settling. Oh, that's, this is that lake that we were at, I think. Maybe. No, this is the place of the crocodiles. I don't think we want to go down here. All right. If the water has crocodiles in it, I think we would die if we went in there. I don't want to be tasty just yet. Okay, so... We have stuff over here, which we can work on. I think this one just needs a rope. So we're going to run over there and see what we could do. Like, maybe we could... No. I was thinking maybe we could domesticate a deer, but that's just stupid. I mean, in context of, of this game, where it's like, the guy, as far as I can tell, is like a TV star. He's probably not going to have those skills. Plus, you'd have to raise it from birth. So, probably not something we can do. Though it would be... It would be nice to be able to ride something and go a little bit faster. Ah, there's what we need to work on. So, so far, these tree houses have turned out to be incredibly safe for us. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Is that one over there and there are these which i think also just need rope so we can go into the caves i think and i think i'm guessing that when you go into a cave just everything responds so we can use that knowledge to basically just go get infinite ropes and infinite cloth we don't have to raid their camps anymore okay this one's just setting up a bed Now it's finishing this off. And then it will be putting up a bed. Nice. Nice. Right, down we go. To the next. The next is where? Over there. Oh, we don't need to jump to uh, not slow down. Nice. Good to know. Man, the cannibals, in the very beginning, the cannibals are this almost indomitable force. 
now that you know how the game works, the, the, the regular cannibals are just a bad joke. And they still, they can still be dangerous, but... Not if you have a decent idea of what you're doing. I also like how I originally thought the winter area would be would play more of a role than it seems to be playing. Which is interesting, I suppose. Okay, we need six sticks. Let's go get some sticks. What would be kind of interesting is to play this game with friends. Uh, and now that we actually understand the mechanics, how the game works, and then to basically just go make, like in the middle of nowhere, go and make this like, it's like a uh, completely alpine home in the middle of nowhere and just not set up any beds. <laughs> so they can't find it. Though it probably tells them where you are. Okay, let's go back, get that bed crafted. Okay, and up we go. Nice. Let's go ahead and save. Well, let's go ahead and sleep. And then save. Alright, guys. My name is Infinmer. Uh, this has been The Forest. Go ahead and leave me a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and just share the video with whoever you think would like it. And I will catch you guys next time as we keep, as we continue to spelunk our way through the caves. All right, thanks, guys. Bye. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing if you'd like to see more. I really want to know what you'd like to see more of, so just let me know in the comments below. Thanks, and see you next time. Bye.